second and Steve Condren puts her under urging and deployed the earplugs early there in the backstretch to hustle Fern as heavy post time favorite to the lead. Cash's Queen surrendered the lead, sits in second. Cupid Dolby is third. China Star is on the inside fourth and is back to Leather Hawklear, second to last Soulful Hanover and Obla Da. Fern on top after a half of 57 and 2 and a second quarter of 29 and 1. Three eighths of the mile to go. Fern leading a length and a quarter on Cash's Queen. Cupid Dolby another length and a quarter in third. Here comes China Star for Waples, starting to the outside, uncovered fourth on the final turn. Leather Hawklear winding up second over from fifth. Oblada saving ground sixth in, and seventh on the outside was Soulful Hanover at the head of the stretch. Fern is the one they're chasing. 127 and one, a moderate third of 29 and four. Down the stretch in the first division of the Classic Oaks, Fern is under heavy siege. Here comes Leather Hawklear down the center of the track. She's taken the lead. Soulful Hanover cut loose. China Star in between mares. Fern laboring along the inside. Not tonight. Leather Hawklear and Soulful Hanover. Leather Hawklear has a big upset. Oh, blah, da against Soulful Hanover for the place. Then Cupid Dolby against China Star. But it was Leather Hawklear and Mark King. 156 and 4 in a Titanic upset. Number two, Leather Hawklear returns as Mohawk's first race winner in the first division of the Classic Oaks 2001 mile. Four-year-old mare by a worthy lad from Call Again, Please. Owned, trained, and driven to victory by Mark King of Lincoln University, Pennsylvania. It's her fourth win in 14 starts this year, 156 and four, in the Classic Oaks. Making the winner's circle presentation Mr. Nick Selvey, the executive director of the Classic Series to the connections of first race winner Leather Hawklear. Mark King uh, does the training. He also owns this one, Leather Hawklear. Nice off the pace win. Uh, really your second start at this level. Last time at Dover made a break, and, and you said she was really in contention that week uh, turning for home. Yeah, she was head to head with Fern there for about three quarters of a mile, and then uh, she dove in a little bit around the last turn and, and uh, had to kind of pour out. She made a break. Uh, Tonight, uh, coming from off the pace, at what point did you feel like, uh, hey, I'm in this thing and have a shot to win it? Well, <laughs> I was uh, following Waples there, and uh, when I cleared him, she felt pretty strong. Getting a look at it now on the stretch drive, and uh, she comes on to sweep the field, and uh, pretty good effort. And you said uh, not a big surprise to you, although it's a bit of a surprise here to the wagering public. Uh, what's uh, next for this filly? Well, she'll race it in the uh, Meadowlands Classic again in three weeks. And uh, I may start her there one start at the Meadowlands before then, but uh, that'll be it. Okay, congratulations, Mark King. Thank you. Trainer, driver, and owner of Leather Hockley, surprise winner tonight in the opening division of the Classic Oaks Race.